Yeah. So I'm Toby Ollier and I'm the puppetry director on the Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe. Amazing. Can you tell me about, obviously, Aslan, the character, and how it fits into the story? Yeah, so Aslan is sort of this ancient being who says himself that he was around before the laws of Narnia were written. And so in the show, he's played by both a puppet and an actor at the same time, mm -hmm. um, playing the character. And the puppet, designed by Max Humphreys, is sort of made to look very sort of terracotta and ancient, sort of mm -hmm. gold leaf and filigree on him, so that you feel like he is the sort of wise, overseeing sort of mm -hmm. being. And it's his return to Narnia when the Pevensey children enter the kingdom that sort of ushers the end of the White Witch's reign. And how's that gone about kind of, with the rehearsals, with the synchronisation of then the puppet and the actor? How's that going, the challenge going? It's been really exciting. The fact that, you know, you have a, a sort of puppet playing the kind of wild, untamed animal side mm. and an actor playing the kind of refined, kind of very noble, regal side. Yeah gives you a real nice dynamic in moments so you know if the witch is provoking Aslan the puppet's able to tense up and snarl and look like it's going to pounce and you believe that that puppet could do harm to her in a way that another actor kind of couldn't yeah. um, and similarly you get Chris being able to give like real regality and kind of humanity um, and yeah it, it's been great seeing in certain moments and scenes in the show yeah. which side of his personality human or puppet can kind of take precedent. How do you go about obviously the, Aslan's such a well-known character how have you gone about designed it, bring it to life. So we've done a, a lot of research and watching the videos, mm. looking at the emotional indicators of lions yeah. and how their weight distributes itself on the floor, um, you know, how the, how the tail shifts with different changes of emotion. And we have three puppeteers, so one on the head, one on the front legs and the body and one on the tail. And so working with the three of them so that they begin to think and feel and breathe as one being, mm. then hopefully as an audience you come and watch it and you feel like you're watching a live animal on stage, even though they may not you know, be furry and, and golden in colour, you sort of go, well, no, that is the essence of Lion and the fact that I can see the people and the fact that I can see that it's, he, um, that the sort of image of the puppet kind of fades out. He's not a kind of fully complete mm -hmm. Lion. If anything, is more exciting because there's an audience, you're really applying and using your imagination and really acting, active in bringing it to life. Why, why would you say audience should, should come and see this production? I think this production itself is, is sort of theatre at its most theatrical. We've got amazing live music being played by two musicians, beautiful singing, choreography, puppetry, and like illusions that even the first time I see them, I was sort of like, oh, it got me, as somebody who's quite technically minded. Yeah. And I think, you know, we're in the middle of technical rehearsals now and seeing all of those elements come together and be equally present and equally valued in a show is, is really unique. You know, there's a lot of shows that have a lot of different elements in them. And sometimes the kind of the click of them isn't quite right, and it, it feels like this show really effortlessly, hopefully, uh, you know, has all those elements working together in unison mm. to tell the story. Amazing. My final question is a bit more of a fun question. Mm. If you had a wardrobe, you can go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? Oh, if I had a wardrobe, go anywhere. You can go forward, back. Can I go back in time? You can. I would definitely go back to the time when dinosaurs were alive. Amazing. I'd probably just poke my head out and stay, <laughs> stay within safe distance, but yeah. just to get a peek. You yeah, know, I've, I've been obsessed with dinosaurs since I was very little, so I'd probably go there.